Hello YouTubers, this is Anubifier. The channel is based on brevity and being efficient with your time, but that also works on being efficient with my time. The CM3 gimbal released and I'm uploading a teardown guide to help you change springs and cams. The process is extremely easy when you know exactly how to do it. And as this process is exactly the same for the CM2 and the CM3, I hope you find this re-uploaded guide to be of service. We begin the process with the gimbal removed from its mounting solution with the wires removed and the rubber caps installed. You'll need a 2.5mm Allen driver, a broad flathead screwdriver, some paper towel, and possibly a pair of needle nose pliers. There's no reason with this gimbal to remove any of the top mounted bolts. Remove the lower cover by removing the four Allen bolts. Remove the top rubber cap associated with the axis that you're adjusting. The nearest cap is the Y axis and the far cap is for the X. It may be easier if you take off the grip, but you don't have to. Loosen the tensioner counterclockwise until the cam arm falls. Remove the tensioner and all the parts with it, including the spring. This is where the paper towel comes in as the parts are pre-greased. Resist the urge to clean off the grease as it's there for a reason. The tensioner includes a Teflon spacer, a metal washer, and finally the spring in that order. At this point, you have full access to the cam and spring. The cam arm freely rotates 90 degrees with the tensioner removed. This gives you full access to the two screws that secure the cam. At this point, simply loosen the screws and make sure to keep track of the lock washers. Remove the cam and replace it with the desired cam and assemble in reverse order. Insert the tensioner, spacer, washer, and spring. Thread the tensioner into the pivot and take up some of the slack. The process is the same for both axes and it's possible to install a different profile into each axis. Once you check everything, replace the lower cover, reattach the gimbal to the mounting solution, and then connect the wire. Don't forget that you need to recalibrate because you've changed major components from the inside. 